I am uh, David Bendeth, and I'm a record producer here in New Jersey, and a mixer, and a writer, and a guitar player, and I pretty well work every day in an environment with a lot of gear, um, and of course, as you can see, this wonderful console, and uh, I'd love to talk to you today about our new plugin. There are so many plugins on the market, great plugins, and um, about a year ago, Boz and I, Boz is a uh, fantastic plugin creator, and uh, I call him a savant. Um, we decided to start a group of plugins that no one was making, uh, something that nobody could ever get because they were discontinued models. And we were very excited about the idea of trying to do some different things, and I kind of took it upon myself to find those pieces of gear. Uh, some of them I had here in my studio, and others um, we would have to buy, and then create them from scratch and try and get it as close as we could to the original sound, mostly focusing on the 70s and the 80s period of plugins, and uh, giving, you know, young and up-and-coming engineers and producers and mixers the, the ability to use these without having to break the bank. The very first plugin that we created together was the Plus 10 dB, which is a compressor limiter EQ where you can use this in a fantastic fashion with drums, with vocals, you know, great on kick snare. And now a lot of people are using it for a lot of different applications, even the EQ. Uh, but the idea was, again, to make something that nobody could make, none of the other plug-in makers could make, because it was a very, very complicated piece of gear. And I feel we've replicated that era really well by making something that sounds great on all mixes and, and really has a sound to it that, that's unlike anything else that's out there. The new piece that we have is called the Hoser, and uh, it's based on a Canadian EQ, um, again, from the 60s and the 70s that has not been made before and uh, sort of has that sound cross between like a Neve, an API, an MCI and uh, has a distinct sound, especially in the top end. I really feel like we've caught the air. And it's very pinpoint parametric and will give you, you know, specific sounds for specific instruments. Right now, I'd really love to do a plug-in walkthrough I'm going to start today with the gain knob. This lowers or raises your input level pre-EQ, and you can also push the gain knob and get a very cool distortion sound. That becomes very handy. The next item is a four-band parametric EQ. It is very open and very airy. The high and low channels have the option of either peak or shelf, which is selectable via the white button, and the mid-bands are peak. Low frequency goes from 25 hertz to 400 hertz, and mid frequency goes from 100 hertz to 1.6K. Mid frequency two goes from 800 hertz to 12K, and high frequency goes from 1.6K to 25K. Those are all the frequencies. Every band has a cue which controls the bandwidth or number of frequencies that will be cut or boosted. The wider the cue, the more it will be affected and vice versa. Every band has the option of cutting or boosting up to plus or minus 15 dB. If you click on my name or the name Hoser, you will get a surprise graphic EQ that is superimposed on the modules. This you might find very handy when looking at the module for quick answers. Now I'd like to talk about the operating modes. We have mono, which is for use on one track at a time, and stereo, which independently processes a stereo channel, bus, or master bus track. Linked mode for stereo processing also, but this links both the left and the right, so if you change something on either channel, the other channel will follow suit. That way, both sides are the same, and you don't have to manually change one side after tweaking the other one. Now I'd like to talk to you about mid-side. MS, of course, stands for mid-side processing. This is another great feature that Boz had come up with for this plugin. This enables you to separate and process the sides of your mix. The left and the right channels are separate from the mid, which is the center of your mix. That means things that are not panned to the sides. This can give you truly great widening power. 
We are very excited about this second release. Boss has done an incredible job on this great EQ plugin. Go check it out. And if you like it, don't forget to leave a comment.